I'm ready. I'm ready. Go for it. Welcome back, y'all, for another beer review. Today, we're going to be reviewing Speedway Stout from Ill Smith. My buddy Sam actually uh, mulled this back for me from uh, Jungle Gems in Cincinnati today, so... I couldn't wait. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't wait, so... <laughs> He's going to be pissed. <laughs> oh, did he get one for himself? Uh, I think he did. I think he already had one, though. Yeah, he did. Was it this version? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think they make another one. It's uh, the Vietnamese coffee, and I think there's another one. But Hawaiian. I'm... There's a Hawaiian one, I think, too. Is there? there? I'm guessing that would be brewed with coconut. Uh, I don't know. Someone watching out there, if you are, <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's a Hawaiian, like a Kona coffee, if I'm not mistaken. So That could be full shit, too. Well, you are already, so... Yeah. Um, let me check this bottle out. Is anything noteworthy? Government warning. I wouldn't worry that. And I'm not reading the back. Yeah, that's, so, a, okay. that's a paragraph. <laughs> but apparently this was the uh, GABF winner in 2008 for the Small Brewing Company of the Year. Or, fuck, I don't know, but looks delicious. It's got about finger head on it. Yeah, and I'll, I'll go ahead and say this is, this is one of those bucket list beers for me, too. Yeah. Um, is this the first time you've had it? Yeah, I've never right. had a speedway. This is, yeah, this is one of my bucket list beers also. So, yeah, been a been a good couple of days. Yeah, of beer <laughs> I'm still wearing the same shirt. <laughs> um, I don't believe in doing laundry. Yeah, we're we're poor. Um, but yeah, it's good enough. Coffee, chocolate, subtle hint of vanilla. Finally, some yeah. vanilla. Some green pepper skin too. Get that? Yeah, get, damn it! Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. I absolutely do. So a bitch. It's like a. Um, it reminds me of a. I know this is generic, but like a Starbucks uh, coffee, but not the sweetened version. Just like the the iced coffee, and like a cold coffee. Yeah, a cold brew coffee. Yeah, cold so your coffee. basic bitch is coming. Up. This is uh, apparently brewed with uh, Ryan Brothers coffee, whatever that is. Yeah, it's it's got a great coffee aroma. Um, it's got a nice. Uh, Roasty, stout, quality to it. Yeah, body to it. Yeah. But that's about all I'm getting. I'm getting, I'm getting a ton of coffee and roast, roasty malt. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of, like I said before, chocolate, maybe like a subtle hint of vanilla, just right there. Yeah. I just barely smell it, but it's there. I don't think it's as dark as um, a lot of stouts. I, I, it, it may just be me, but I'm getting like a brownish tinge. Right the on bottom. the edge, yeah, oh, the very yeah. edge. So it's not it's not completely black, but and it's got like a cappuccino type quality head. Like if that if that makes sense. Yeah, it, yeah. Mocha loca chocolate. Yeah. yeah um, I'm excited. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sam. <coughs> mm -hmm. Suck it later. <laughs> I'm getting tons of green pepper skin on the. And the taste, and like the, I think well, obviously from the coffee, but it, like that just, uh, I don't know how to explain, like the oily green pepper, like if you burn into like a bell pepper, that kind of sweetness. That, it's it's like a greenness too. Like I'm getting yeah, kind it's of a earthy. green. Like it's an earthy. I don't know what that says about. I don't know what kind of coffee they use, but um, yeah, like when you drink coffee, you kind of, I've had coffees where it, it does taste green. I don't know how to yeah. describe it other than the color green. Yeah. But yeah, this is what I'm getting up front. I'm getting a, a little bit of chocolate um, and a ton of fresh brewed coffee. And I, I love coffee and beers, and yeah. this is this is fantastic. Yeah, this is good. This is definitely it's hitting it on the head for me. That it doesn't let me down. Like we reviewed Mexican cake, and it let me down. That was one of my bucket list yeah. beers, and it didn't let me. Well, it didn't let me down in the sense that it sucked. It was just that it didn't live up to the hype for me. And this, I think. It lives up to the hype to me. Um, how much was this? I think it was twelve dollars. Twelve dollars? Yeah, okay. for this. This is a twenty-five point uh, four. Yeah, twenty-five point four ounce bottle. So that's a really great deal, and it's. Uh, I think it's above ten percent alcohol. So. Is it listed on here? Twelve. Twelve percent. Wow. Yeah, so it's a pretty big beer, and it's for twelve bucks. You can't beat that, and I wish I would have had him pick up two. Yeah. Sam, let me know next time. Uh, you go to General Gyms? Jungle Gyms in Cincinnati. Yep.
I need some cheese too from there. Yeah, I I, I like this a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just a ton of fresh brewed coffee flavors, and, and like I said before, I love coffee, so I'm really digging this for sure. Well, that is that is really good. And this is my first. <laughs> this is my first L. Smith beer. I don't know why they don't distribute to Indiana it's because my, they my just, first too. Because Cincinnati's in Ohio and it's right next door, literally. And uh, I'd like to get some uh, barrel aged Old Dump Skull because that's that's Speedway too, isn't it? Uh, or yeah, L. Smith. Yeah. Right. And uh, I think they actually had the the regular version. That's a Bali wine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They had that there. I should have got. I should have had a bottle of that too. We'll, we'll get to it eventually. We'll get to it eventually. But yeah, um, rating wise, um, I go. I'm going to eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a nine just because it didn't let me down, and I just love it. it's tons of coffee, and everything is. I mean, everything's there for a great stout. Yeah, great stout base. Yeah, and if they burn Berlay, just do that. <laughs> Yes, it like, I know we say bourbon aged a lot, but that's I think this beer like would benefit from from uh, some vanilla. <coughs> yeah, know, absolutely. The, maybe even, even oak aged. That, yeah, I think that would be amazing. I agree, totally. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna give it a eight and a half. You're gonna go a nine. Yep. So, yeah, that's our review. Ale Smith Speedway Stout with coffee. Uh, delicious. Amazing. And you know what? One more point. I don't really get the 12%. Yeah, no, it's very little I don't know if it's just because we've heat. had a few beers before this, but um, <laughs> even even so, with having a couple beers, I don't get yeah, it's, much burn. I don't get much. It, it's hidden really well. That's so just, yeah. that's just a well-crafted brew. Yeah. Like, that's a sign of a well-crafted beer. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, thanks, Sam, for picking that up. Yeah. And but still suck it. But yeah, I mean, absolutely, you're gonna you're gonna suck my nuts, one way or another. <laughs> Love you, Sam. But yeah, that's that's our review. L. Smith Speedway Stout. Um, if you're lucky enough to be in a dis- distributed area of this beer, yeah, which somehow get it? loops around Indiana. Yeah, a lot, a lot, so, of, a lot of beers do. What the hell? We're in the Bible Belt. <laughs> we don't drink them. All right. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and we're gonna enjoy this thoroughly. Naked? Yeah. Maybe. We're not going to get that on video. <laughs> That's the bonus content. <laughs> That's the bonus features, features when our yeah. documentary comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Only five easy payments of twenty nine ninety nine. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll, we'll catch you next time. Thanks, y'all. Suck it, Sam. <laughs>